Ibo Area TV on Ndibo. Hello, hello. Why not give this credit to Ndibo? <laughs> yes, we have to give this one. According to Professor Fanso, um, a reason why English Cameroon didn't join Nigeria. You know, there are several reasons, but this is part of the reasons. According to him, Cameroon is one of the countries that is very close to Nigeria. They share common boundaries. Before Cameroon became a country of its own, they were given two options to either join Nigeria or French Cameroon. But see what they did according to Professor Fanso, who is a Cameroonian from the English-speaking side. An extract from his BBC interview In 1961, we were denied the option of having our own country. We were only given two options. Either we join Nigeria or we join French Cameroon. Cameroon. We were afraid of the Igbos due to their domineering nature. They were controlling all the markets and occupying large farms and settlements in our territory. They were very intimidating. You know, fear of, um, according to this guy, you know, fear of competing, based on what he's saying, fear of competing with the Igbos is what scared English Cameroonians away from joining Nigeria. But one thing is very clear and certain about the Igbos. They don't force or threaten anyone. But their uniqueness of doing business is really terrific. Indeed, Igbos got talent, and their talent is what keeps them going. And the desire to continue to grow, they spend time nurturing a thing. So no matter the economic condition of a country, Igbos must and will survive there. It's a kudos from um, the author of this article, one hidden secret about the Igbos is their power of creativity. While others may be busy living classy and flashy lives, the Igbos will be busy investing for the future. If many should start thinking like the Igbos, poverty rate will be low in Nigeria because many will survive in their immediate environment. By being creative and innovative without depending on anybody. What do you think about this? Are the Igbo domineering? Are they domineering? At least, um, if we like you to comment if you have come in contact with Igbos. Are they really domineering or ju they just have um, um, some kind of prowess, some kind of business quality that um, it's amazing? What do you think? Are the Igbos a domineering people? If you say they are domineering, tell us how exactly. Add your comment on the comment section. Please also subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get our updates. Amazuka OJ bye for now. Thanks for watching Ebo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.